Hi everyone, today we are going to use the Jingle All The Way sticker book to show you how to create a holiday bucket list and holiday planning page using filler paper from the back of Rong Rong's new planners. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab two pages so we can do this and let's decorate and get ready for a fun-filled December. All right, so First, what you could do is create a nice cover page for all your December planning. You could say December, you could say Christmas planning, whatever you would like. But today we are going to do these two inner pages that will say holiday plans and holiday bucket list. So let's go ahead and get started on that. We'll do the holiday plans one first. So first, if you look at this, we have a page that has all these lovely letters in them. So we are gonna use that for the title. But first I do wanna get something just above it to kind of start decorating the page. So I'm just thinking about what we could do. We might put a little strip of washi tape above it, or we could put some, let's do some ornaments instead. That'll be very cute. We have lots of ornaments all over the place. You can just lay them down at the top of the page. I'll turn it like this so it's easier to place all of these. And I'm just gonna do it with a little gap, but not too much of a gap. This is cute too. You could put them all the way up to the edge of the page so that the design is actually right all the way up there. You would have to trim it then. So I am not gonna do that today, but you can do that if that is something that you like the look of. Right, I'm gonna put this one over here cause it's a little bit longer. And I think another one of these little garland type pieces would look really nice in here. And a slightly bigger one over here. And now we need the letters, which were up here. And we're gonna write out holiday plans. So I'm just gonna start here. And if we run out of space, what we'll do is put plans on the next line down. The other way you can do this if you're unsure of spacing is to go ahead and put it on the edge of something hard like a ruler so that you can lay it out on the ruler and then place it down once you know all the spacing. Okay, so it looks like we will put plans one line down. Okay, we've got holiday. Let's use the other Y. So we have the colors, not both green right there. Holiday, and then I'm gonna start with S over here so I can get the spacing correct. I wanna do it like that. And here we have the base of our document that we're gonna be creating today. Okay, so next up on this page, you can put whatever you want. You can do meal planning, party planning, gift planning, etc. I'm gonna do a little bit of multiple things. So first, I wanna create a gift list over here but I want to create it as like a gift tag. I think that would look pretty cute. So first I'm just gonna sketch this out to make sure I have it where I want it. Just using a pencil. Okay. And then we'll have like, you know, like how a gift tag has a little hole Mm. 
with some strings. So we're gonna use pens for this part and then we will go ahead and decorate it all out. With this, the question is, do we want it to be really straight or kind of hand-drawn? Let's do it really straight. So I'm gonna get a ruler for this. Once I'm sure we're done making the tag and it's nice and dry, then I'll erase all the pencil marks. But you can use any pen. You don't need to use a pencil ahead of time. And then we're gonna decorate this gift tag so that it has a little bit of flair on it, kind of like a real gift tag would have, you know, a little design or pattern or something like that. And we'll use the stickers for that. Okay, so then drawing the circle as best I can. Not perfect, but that's okay. All right, so there's our gift tag. I'll just go ahead and erase these pencil marks. Okay, now for the decoration. We get to go to the back of the sticker book with all the beautiful designs and figure out what we want on it. So my two thoughts for this, for decorating this gift tag, are to either put a little design down here or have like stuff all the way around the edges. And I think it's simpler to put something right here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I think this cat is so cute, but I'm gonna see if there's anything else that I'd wanna put with it. like this. So you can always make the stickers your own a little bit by adding to it. So we're going to put that one down first and then use some scissors to just trim it a little bit so we can put it up right to the edge. And there we've got a little cat right there. And then I'm going to use the pen again and write gift list. All right, so then with this, what I'm going to do is use, there are these really cute stickers right here, and I am gonna use the ornaments to lay out some spaces for putting down gift ideas. So you could put down as many spaces as you need. We celebrate Christmas with my extended family, so there are quite a few little presents to grab throughout the Christmas holidays for all the various people. So that should be enough for now, but again, you can make this a full page if you need or whatever, but I think that looks pretty cute. I think though, I might want a little bit more decor on it. So let's go ahead and add a few more things. Yeah, I like that one. And Just seeing if there's anything else to put in there on this gift tag. Kind of want to fill that little spot now that we've put stuff over there. Let's put the little snowman like that. And we're just going to grab a little X-Acto knife craft cutting tool and trim this. So that it still looks like a gift tag. All right, that tag looks pretty cute. Next up, I want this side to have my to-do list and the cards to send category. So what we're gonna do for those is just create two little layered sections. And some of these things 
that are already pre-decorated might be really good for this. So this one actually looks like it will fit really well with the spacing we have. So we're going to pick this up and see. Yeah, that's going to be great. We're going to do it right here and just have the tiniest little piece of the tree to trim. And then I'm going to write down right here to do. And so this will be like decorate or shop or plan meals or, you know, the big things about holiday planning. Let's see if we have something else skinny enough to fit there. Otherwise, we can create our own box. We could do this one. This will fit pretty well, I think. So just put it like that. These are so easy because they're pre-decorated and laid out for you. They make planning a breeze when you are busy. All right, so this one we will label cards and that way I can write down all the names of the people that I want to make and mail cards to. And I love making cards using sticker books. So that's another way to use these holiday stickers is to make some cards for people. Okay, so this is our holiday plans page. Next up, we're gonna make a bucket list page also using all of these stickers, mainly focusing on these ones and decorating around it. So first I'm going to write down bucket list up top and then come back with you and we can go ahead and decorate the page. All right, so I made this little sign that says holiday bucket list. So we're going to go ahead and pick out the things that I want to put on here. So let's see. We'll grab watch Christmas movies, <laughs> drink hot chocolate. Okay, so we'll just put that one down first. And so what I'm going to do as we do this is go find stickers that I can use with it and then put everything else around it. So we're gonna get at least five or six items onto here, but like here is a nice little mug and we're gonna put that right next to the drink hot chocolate. And then we're gonna add a little checkbox right there. You could also use the little snowflakes or something like that, but I want to be able to check it off. All right, so watch Christmas movies. We'll find a sticker that we can do for that, like this one with a TV. That is perfect. So we can put that one over here. Then again, put a little checkbox in there. So I'm just going to keep going back and forth as I fill this up completely with some various things. So let's see, let's go ahead and put play in snow. I want to get a couple of stickers with both the script and the text, just cause I think that'll look really nice. And with my kids, building a gingerbread house would be really fun. So we're gonna put that one on too. So let's see if we can find some stickers that might work with either of those. And if we don't have stickers that are exactly that, that's okay. We can do something similar that just kind of gives the same feel. So there's a snowman. I think there's, this kind of looks, it's kind of an ornament, but it also looks gingerbready. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and use that for this one just because I think it works well. We can use the snowman if we need to for play in snow because I don't want to use the huge snowman sticker. So I think we will do that. And we'll just keep filling this up. All right, let's see. Let's add in, put up decorations. 
something over here. Ice skating would be a really fun one. We've taken my daughter once and she really enjoyed it. So let's do that. Put it down here. All right, so now I don't know if there's an ice skating sticker or not. <laughs> I doubt there is, but maybe there is. Let's take a look. Let's see, they're not an ice skate. They're just sitting. And this decorations box is perfect for the put up decorations. So we'll just go like that. and put a checkbox near it. <laughs> okay, so no ice skating sticker exactly. So let's just find a sticker that we like to put near it just for um, having a decoration next to each thing. Maybe just the florals, because that's going to fill a nice space. And we can also use the other side of this sticker up here to kind of fill in. I want to fill in up here also for decoration. So that'll work. Okay, so we've got six items on the bucket list. You could totally squish them in more and get more bucket list items in there, but this is basically how you would do it. All right, we're gonna decorate up above holiday now, and then our two pages will be complete. All right, so just looking at the things that we might want to put. You know what? This is a full on gingerbread house ornament and this is just gingerbread. So we're gonna swap it and then hang this one from up there. That works even better. And this one we do have to trim so that it fits. <laughs> and lastly, let's just put a little pile of presents right there. All right, so that is how I would create a holiday plans and holiday bucket list using Wrong Wrong's Jingle All the Way sticker book. I'm Amy with Amy Plans Things. Thanks so much for joining us today. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.